Have you seen the Whistler sweater? It's been updated to 4X and 5X, and it includes a dress length. Are you ready to sew it up? Maybe you're a little concerned about the construction of the collar and the pockets? It's a little different, but don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step to give you a great finish you can be really happy with. Before we begin, let's talk about our pattern pieces. First up, we have our front piece. This is the front shoulder, and it goes down to the bottom, and it also has a pocket bag. And then we have our front pocket piece, which also has um, the bottom of the sweater as well as a matching pocket bag. So with the Whistler, there's many different options, and one of them is you can have a gathered front yoke area, or you can have it flat like I have it on right here. So if you want the gathered view, you would place on fold this edge right here, the outermost one. But if you want the flat front, then you would place the dotted line on the fold of your fabric. So collar styles, we have a couple. First we have this shawl collar, which is what I'm wearing right here. It's just a fold over shawl collar. And then we also have a hood option. Now this hood is a little bit different, so be careful before you cut. You'll notice that the place on fold is out here around the face area. So that is a fabric saver and it's just a little bit of a time saver, but be sure you're placing your pattern piece on the fold of the fabric. So you are cutting, so your pieces will be cut like this. These are two pieces, you cut them on the fold like that. So when you're sewing the hood up, it looks definitely different than probably what you're used to. You'll do right, open your pieces up, so the right sides together around the curved edge. And I'll do that now and show you what that hood looks like. So here's the hood sewn up. It's been sewn around the top curved edge. And now to get it to be like a normal hood, you turn it right side out. And you put those curved edges together. So now we're left with what you'd probably normally see of a hood. So it's now like that. So one thing to know with a hood, you do need to use the same fabric for the front and the lining because it's not really a lining. It's just a different side of the fabric. So that is the hood construction. It's just a little bit different to keep you guys on your toes. And then the rest of the construction is the same for the shawl collar. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the um, shawl collar. So now let's talk about the shawl collar view. That's the view I'm wearing right now. It has this nice folded over collar that goes up around the back. So here's your pattern piece. You wanna cut four two mirror image sets. So basically cut it twice on folded fabric and you've got your four pieces that are both mirror image. Now you're gonna sew each set right sides together at the center back. Once you have done that, you will align each one right sides together, so like this, and then you'll sew along the curved portion. I've already done it here, so I'm kind of like showing you in development. So you would sew along this curved edge, turn it right side out, and then you want to top stitch this curved edge. Then take your iron, actually, it should go like this, and fold over this curved section that kind of goes out further. And it's kind of will naturally want to do that. And so give that a nice press. Now we're going to take the ends of our collar and overlap them so that the finished edge will match up with this with the pattern marking that you should have transferred when you were cutting. So once you have matched up those markings, uh, go ahead and take it to your machine and do a quick basting strip stitch across the bottom to keep the piece together while you're working with it. So here we have the two different kinds of collars. We've got the shawl collar where it has been basted together down here. And I've done the same thing with the hooded collar. It's the same kind of construction for the bottom of the center front. So we just line it up at that marking and baste it in place. I'm gonna continue on just using the shawl collar piece. The rest of the construction is exactly the same. So first we want to take our front pocket piece. 
This is basically the bottom part and it has the pocket. And make sure if you haven't already, transfer those pattern markings. Those are so, so important. So we're going to take our shawl collar and we're gonna line it up to the center front. And we're going to stitch or serge that in place using the 3 8 seam allowance. I have attached my collar to the front pocket piece and now we're ready to do probably the most complicated step of all of this, but it's not too bad. Don't worry about it. We're going to walk you through it. So first you want to take your back piece and your front pieces and sew them right sides together at the shoulders like I have already done here. So this is what it'll look like once you've done that. Um, so while you're at it, go ahead and mark the center back. I'm going to do that with a pen. Now for the trickiest part of them all, we're going to sew this open area to the outer edges of the collar and front pocket piece. Okay. To start with, let's line up each pocket. And we're going to, of course, doing this right sides together. And we'll start at one edge, one side seam, and the pocket. And clip or pin, however, whatever works best for you. And then I like to go over and do the other side. If you need to use more clips than that or pins, go for it. So you should notice that your markings that you have made on each piece should be lining up pretty well. Um, some people have noted that it's a little easier to work with at this interior portion if you clip into this corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to clip very far, like maybe a centimeter at most, maybe even more like a quarter inch, just a little bit to release that strain. So now I'm going to continue pinning around the pocket. And I'm going to pin around that marking area so I know Now you'll notice the markings on the front piece. There is um, a triangle marking. That triangle marking should line up with the seam line where the collar is attached. So we're just gonna take it there to the collar and line that up. Do that on both sides. And now we're going to take the center back and line it up with the center back of the collar, which is where that seam is. I really have no rhyme or reason of when I use a clip or a pen. Usually thicker seams, I'll use um, a clip. Anything inside that I can't get a clip to, obviously I would use a pen. Okay, so it's looking kind of crazy, but don't despair. We're going to now line up the shoulder seam with the other marking on the shawl collar piece. And I like to do each side. Like I do it on one side and then I flip it to the other. Make sure that's okay. And now I'll add another pen here. So I've run out of clips. So now this section that looked kind of tricky where we clipped, that should be fitting pretty exact. So I'm just going to do a pin just to keep it all together. And let's go to this side. Now that is, if you can believe it, everything is pinned together and ready to be sewn. This is what 
the wrong side looks like. So we've got our collars pinned to the pocket pieces. So now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and use a straight stitch, not a serger at this point. And I'm going to go around, starting at one side seam, around the pocket, pivoting up here around this curved portion, and then around back down the other side. Okay, we have gotten our front piece sewn to the pocket and the collar. And all we need to do is finish, uh, is clean up our seams if you want to. Um, you will notice that these seams tend to want to go inward and these want to go out. I think it's nice to clip right underneath here, not through the stitching of course, but just to release that so you can press it and make it look nice and flat. So I'm just gonna go in here and with my, just clip it. And then I'm gonna press the seam this way. I'm also gonna clip on the corresponding edge where we clipped earlier to release that. And that just uh, helps you press a little bit easier, not to mention finish the seams when you're using your serger. So we'll press these in and these out. And then if you want, you can finish those seams with a serger and you're good. All right, we've all pressed and finished our raw edges with the serger and we're ready to sew on the sleeves and then side seams and then your hem. And you're done. That wasn't too bad, right? Uh, you can also take out these basing stitches when you're done and then to add the little closure, you just sew through your button through all layers and that's it. Okay, that's it. We have done the collar and the pockets and you're just ready to put on the sleeves, sew the side seams and hem and you're all done. Hopefully this video has given you the confidence to do this on your own. If you have any questions, just drop them in the box below and we'll be sure to reply and happy sewing.